districts have these seamless paths from really from eighth grade on where they can see different pathways and these opportunities. So I, I thought I would uh, mention that briefly. Thank you, John. Uh, another important component of the uh, success of both school districts throughout the, uh, the town is the fact that we have strong parental and community involvement. And research has shown that when you have that kind of involvement, it does yield great success for kids. We're very proud of that fact. Um, Steve alluded to the fact that uh, there is a strong relationship between the schools and the police department. I wouldn't like that to be seen as a negative relationship. I think that we, are, that we only call in the police department when kids are in trouble or when we have to solve a problem. It really is a very proactive relationship. Uh, South Colony has a resource officer in their schools. Um, in North Colony, we've taken great pride in the fact that over the last five or six years, our connection to the town uh, police force has been strengthened. And I consider them, and I know John considers them, a very valuable asset um, in uh, what we do in the schools on a regular basis. Um, other avenues, of course, have already also been mentioned. Uh, youth Board, the uh, Town Youth Bureau, are, are, are great uh, connections that we have with the town itself. Um, in North Colony, we have our Career Exploration Internship Program. And that's a program that's been in effect really for the last 10 years. And what it does is it gives our students a chance to go out and to form a partnership uh, with uh, someone in the business world, um, in the world of education, in the world of health services. It serves two valuable purposes. One purpose, it says to a, a, a student in their senior or junior year in high school, this is the career I want to be in, uh, involved with. This is where I'm going uh, to go to school to obtain the education so I can uh, accomplish what I have to do to uh, be in this career. It also serves another important purpose, and that is, gee, I thought I wanted to be an architect, but once I got involved and once I went to the firm, I know I don't want to be an architect. And I think it's very good as that clarifying moment, but that's also another strong community relationship. Parents also are invited to be a part of our schools. We have a variety of avenues for parental involvement. That includes the PTA, um, it includes various building-based organizations, building councils, um, it includes the Board of Education. Our boards of education represent um, our link to the community. Our, board, our boards are our voices in the community. They hear from you, uh, the business community. They hear from our citizens. They hear from all aspects of the community, senior citizens, families, uh, uh, individuals without children. And again, a perspective here on what, what our, our community feels and what our community feels our schools must do to be successful. So these are important uh, connections that we have, and we very, very much value them. We know that they're essential to our thriving as uh, districts uh, of success, uh, not only within the region, but throughout the United States. John? A couple other areas that I'd just like to mention briefly here. Both districts, I think, have tremendous uh, extracurricular opportunities for kids. The arts, music, athletics, um, and even in these uh, difficult times, we, we know, as I watch kids grow and develop as they move through school, that those experiences really are important. And we work very hard to try to, uh, considering all the cost efficiencies that we've had to look at as everyone has the last few years, do everything we can to protect those opportunities for kids because it is still important for kids to leave uh, our school settings as well-rounded well, well -rounded young people. We learn how to win, how to lose how to adjust, be part of teams, and uh, anyone that's running a business knows that that's very important. So we're working very hard, I think, to uh, continue to provide those great opportunities for our kids. I think both both districts do a tremendous job uh, with, with those uh, options for kids. And the other thing I wanted to mention briefly was, uh, I'll give you an example. We have a safe schools committee. Typically meets once a month or so. It involves North Colony, South Colony, and uh, in our EMS and uh, County Police Department said to us about a year and a half ago, look, uh, you guys are all doing a pretty good job, but sometimes you're doing things a little bit differently. We need to get on the same page. So they helped us out. We invited the, uh, some of the private, smaller, parochial schools, and uh, everybody now meets together 
and we have some common things, things that they, uh, they expect in regard to safe school, um, I guess, protocol, things that we should be thinking about as school districts to make sure things run safe, but if we ever have a situation where we need to have uh, you know, medical help or, or any kind of help at the uh, districts, that all the schools are sort of on the same page. So there is terrific collaboration here in the town colony. And as a person who came here from outside the area three years ago, I've been very impressed with that. And, uh, and I know we're going to continue to look at different ways that we can work together to uh, continue to work with the town, the village, and certainly both districts to maximize uh, success and also to just make things work smooth because of uh, quality input. Good feedback from the people. So I think, and, and I would like to move things along here. So I think, in conclusion, I think your your children are well cared for by both school districts in in the town of Colony. Um, we have districts that focus on long term planning, long term planning when it comes to the academic program, long term planning when it comes to buildings and grounds and infrastructure and infrastructure maintenance. We do that on a regular basis because to be proactive and vigilant is a way that you can contain uh, uh, expanded costs later on. We also maintain a program that tries to reach all students. Um, we are, uh, as schools, in granting advanced regents diplomas, and that would be diplomas where students pass seven regents. We're well above the state average in that. We offer students a lot of advanced offerings in the sense of the university and the high school, college uh, and the high school programs. Uh, partnerships with Hudson Valley, uh, the Sage Colleges, partnerships with the University at Albany, with Siena. These variety of partnerships, plus coupled with a vigorous and rigorous AP program, allow our students to go uh, to college. Many of them are, are going in with sophomore standing. So we're very, very proud of that as well. Um, we also just don't focus on students who are uh, looking at a four-year college program. We focus on preparing our students for the world of work. Um, we, I think, are very proud of the fact that nearly 95% of our students attend either a four- or two-year college, um, and uh, the rest are prepared for either the world of work or the military. So I think you know, we do a good job in that area as well. We are a people business, and we are uh, staffed by uh, an excellent faculty, excellent administration, and excellent support staff. Uh, the various recognitions that we've received over time, whether it be teacher, uh, of the week, uh, recognized on Channel 13, Teacher of the Month, Teacher of the Year, recognized by the various professional organizations throughout the region and throughout the state. Those are accomplishments we're also quite proud of as well. Um, in conclusion, we know that we are facing very difficult times. Um, we know that the governor has, has really, in, in essence, told us that you know, our funding may be capped uh, uh, for uh, an indeterminate amount of time. Yet, we've recognized that we are facing difficult times. Uh, both districts have, over the past few years, made very conscious efforts to reduce costs. We're very proud of the fact, too, that annually in the spring, when the Capital District Review of Business does its ratings of public schools, in both districts you have academic achievement way up at the top, consistently in the top 10 of that, or actually number one. And out of the 85 schools, you have spending way down at the bottom moving from 62, in the case of last year with North Colony, 74 out of 85 schools. So we are very prudent. We look at our expenditures very closely, and we will continue to do so. So we know we live in a changing environment. We know that resources are increasingly scarce. Our challenge is to continue to provide to your children the very best level of service uh, that we possibly can to sustain and grow that level of service. And we're up for that challenge. Should you wish to find any more information about either school district, you can certainly uh, consult our websites uh, for North Colony. It's at northcolony, one word, dot org. And South Colony? South www.southcolony.k12.reorg.us. <laughs> go to Google, go to Google, go to South Colony Central School District, it'll, it'll pop up. Well, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. We do appreciate it. Thank you.